Hello mate, this video I did here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial for a nice little warping transition I've been tinkering about with using Twixter Pro in Sony Movie Studio. It's working Vegas or whichever other programs you can use Twixter in, I'm sure. I don't actually know, but yeah, I guess you will. Right. So this little warping transition I'm going to do, I'm going to get two clips here, buff them up next to each other, so I'm just going to go from one to the other, like that, no transitions there already. And what I'm going to do, first off, is I'm going to disable resample, which you should always do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on my join here. I'm going to go one frame before, yeah, that's a frame, and I'm going to go a few frames after, and I'm going to render that out, so make movie, and I'm going to do it, render it out in a WMV format at 30 frames, let's just go Warp transition. Yep, 30 frames, high quality video. Let's render that out. We down in a couple of seconds. There we go. Open folder. Let's just pop that into our project. Get rid of that. Now, let's drop this down onto our timeline. Let's move this back a bit. Get rid of it. So now we've got a video, a short clip, with our swap over right at the start. So now what we're going to do, actually let's disable the resample on that. We're going to go into this clip and we're going to open up Twixter Pro. Now, right click properties, that'll be 30 frames, as we should know. Um, if you want to pause the video and copy these Twixter settings, just get that frame down to 30. I'm not too clued up on Twixter, this is just a setup I have copied off someone on a YouTube video. Feel free to pause and copy. There we go, right. So now I'm going to pop the speed down to let's try 5% let's just make this a bit bigger I'm going to put this onto draft half so it plays a bit better right let's move that let's stretch that out so that is going to that is going to warp quite nicely like so and there you go, it's quite quite a simple little thing, looks quite good if you, uh, let's play it, there you go, get rid of that sound, U for ungroup, delete for delete, so now we have a little clip with a nice little warping transition, now what we're going to do is, let's just find a suitable point to stop that at. There we go. Now let's make movie and export that clip. Simply because if you want to do stuff like I don't know, maybe add a little bit of blurring to it, or if you want to make it go by a bit quicker, uh, mucking about with a with a clip that's got Twixter on it will probably cause you more problems than you want so I find it best to just render that out do it again as a WMV so it's nice high quality 30 frames is all you need so I'm going to do warped transition and render that out that might take a bit longer as it's been twixted I'll probably skip 
forward if it takes ages. There we go, rendering complete. Open folder, there it is. Let's drop that in. Now we can, you can either get rid of that or you can push it to one side if you wanna do some more tinkering with it. Let's get our, our clip in here. There we go. Let's just have a little look at that. Lovely little warp effects. Now, you can, if you go to your end here, hold control, you can shrink it and make it go really quick. So you know what, let's find our original. It's maybe a bit too quick. Let's stretch it out a bit. Let's make it longer. Basically, you know, if you're trying to fit it with music, as many montage makers will do, then it's handy to have that as a clip so you can stretch it about instead of fiddling about in Twixter. Okay, let's have a look. Anyway, there you go. There's your nice little warp transition. Fiddle about with that as you like. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Bye for now.